My name's Katie and I can draw. If you think so too, then subscribe for more. Today, I'm going to be showing you the full time lapse of me drawing Anne-Marie, along with lots of tips and tricks on how to make your drawings more realistic. Let's get right into it. Tip one. Okay, first of all, don't rush your sketch. Keep it quite light and make sure you're using a reference and getting the proportions right. And if it goes wrong, don't be afraid to restart. If your sketch isn't accurate, then the whole drawing will just look off. If you're a complete beginner to realism, don't be afraid to trace or use the grid method. It's all about drawing what you see in the reference, not what you think it should look like. Tip 2. Do one section at a time. Don't try to do everything at once. Focus on one area until you get it looking alright before moving on to the rest. I always start with the eyebrows and the rest of the face before moving on to the clothes and hair. Once I know I'm somewhat happy with the face, I can start on the rest of the drawing. Tip 3. Pick a good reference. Make sure the reference is good quality and that you can imagine it as a drawing. Oh, and remember, using a reference is not cheating. I mean, how do you think I draw this level of realism without a photo reference? How do you think? You think I can just draw like that out of my mind? Nope. You need a good photo reference. So think of one thing you really like about the reference and one thing that you want to change. Make the thing you like more noticeable and if you feel like something doesn't work or it'll be too difficult to recreate, you can change it. Remember, just because you're drawing realistically doesn't mean you can't sometimes ignore the reference and just follow your artistic intuition. Tip 4. For coloured pencils you want to work in light layers. Go in circular motions very lightly to start off and slowly start applying more pressure. The biggest mistake I made when I started out with coloured pencils was burnishing too early. Burnishing is when you press really hard with the pencil to flatten out the tooth of the paper. Once you've done this it is extremely difficult to add any more pigment on top of it. Extremely as in that the pigment literally starts coming off the page. Tip 5. It will look ugly at first. Usually your drawing will go through an ugly stage where nothing looks right, but usually you'll be able to push through. But if you can't, then just draw something new. What makes good artists is someone who can learn from their mistakes. Every artist makes bad art. No one starts out a master. It takes time and lots of practice. I mean lots and lots of practice. Draw as often as you can and you should improve. Tip 6, sort of ties in with the last tip. Don't rush your drawing. 
You will need to spend hours on the drawing to make it look realistic, especially with coloured pencils. I mean this drawing, I spent a total of six and a half hours of it. And it's, you can't really expect a masterpiece from only 30 minutes of drawing. But art should be fun, and I definitely did have fun making this drawing. Tip 7, blending. One of the hardest things about realism is making all the colours smoothly blend into one another. If you're using soft core wax based colour pencils, then it should be pretty easy. If you're using polychromos like me, or some other kind of oil based colour pencil, then this will be a little more difficult. You want to make the transition between colours smooth and not scratchy looking. This can happen by burnishing too early or not using circular motions. If you want to learn more about colour pencils, I'd recommend watching some of Kirsty Partridge's videos. They were really helpful to me when I first started out, so check them out once you finish watching this video. attention to the tiny details in the reference, the slight colour variations, the loose strands of hair, the tiny freckles. You don't necessarily have to draw every single strand of hair or every tiny pore on the skin, but if you're going for realism, detail is a must. Just make sure to look at the picture as a whole so you're not focusing too much on one small area. That's it! That's all my tips for you. So, what are you waiting for? Start drawing! So, get drawing. Pick a reference, do the sketch, choose your colours and begin! And who knows, you might end up with something you're really happy with. Wow, I think that's one of my best drawings yet! And if you want to follow the rest of my art journey, make sure to subscribe. And before you go, make sure to click that like button down below for more vids just like this. And press that notification bell for vids you surely won't want to miss. And make sure to tune in for my next video. Guess I'll see you then.